It's Visual Journal Friday. If you'd like to know more about visual journaling, what it is, how it's different than keeping a regular sketchbook, how I use it with my students, how I think it could be helpful for you as an artist to grow, then check out my in more in-depth description in episode one of the Visual Journal Friday series. Also, you can check out my blog post where I go into a lot of detail about it. I will have that link in the description below. Happy Visual Journal Friday. This is another supplemental book, and this one's pretty old. I think I did this back in about 2007, 2008. So this is not necessarily a visual journal as much as it is an altered book. So I don't know if you've heard of altered books, but it's the idea that you take an existing published book and you art on the pages over the text in a layered fashion. I will go ahead and say that this book is a little dark. I was suffering from depression at the time and this was a great way to get it out. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to talk about what's inside it because it is just a purely, it's a, it's an emotional book that doesn't have a lot of story behind it. It is an expression of emotion. so. I transferred some walking figures there. There's a ink wash on the whole book. I, I covered the whole book in paper towel or brown paper bag decoupage and then blackened it with ink. Then I glued on some leaves, also blackened those with ink. So I, wa I painted on top of the leaves and over the years, the leaves have sort of cracked and fallen off, but there, there is sort of a fanned out arrangement of leaves right there. Here I stamped some sort of plastic mesh that you can use for weaving. That, I boxed in the word discarded. I thought it was a meaningful dark word at the time. Um, but the book literally was discarded. It was going in the trash. So if you're offended that I arted on a book, it was going in the trash. I glued pages together, so I, I didn't art on every page. Uh, I highlighted the word new arrival, and I drew a person. Some people have looked at this book and interpreted it as like a heartbreak book about a person, but I was happily married at the time. Well. Our marriage was happy, I wasn't happy, but we have a healthy marriage and still do to this day. I highlighted the word you, you. There's a piece of film here. You were, you were. And then there's a landscape scene with a moon and some pine trees, some gold shimmer paint. You were such, there's a soldier, some fingerprints, lots of washy blackness, A, A, and then I drew one of my favorite artists, Giacometti's Striding Man, a sculpture he made in 1960, I just drew the sculpture, again more stamping with the plastic mesh. You were such a disappointment. This has some sort of transparent plastic glued down over top of painting and then I washed over top of that. Here I've sewn the edges of these pages together stamped on here. Actually, these white lines are, I, I scratched away at the paint, creating, you can, 
actually feel the scratches. You were such a disappointment. Why? Why did I? Why? Did. There's a heart. Um, sort of glued pages together and ripped pages apart, creating... Oh, and I sanded this one down after painting on it. This one has that gold shimmery overpainting. Why did I, 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 me? And there's another Giacometti image. I love Giacometti. There's some tool, is that what that's called? That, I think that's called tool. Waste. Did I waste is highlighted there. So here we have there's like a plastic glued down over the text, and then there's some sort of cardboard on top of that that has been glued down and painted on waste. And again, the pages are sort of glued down in an ambiguous way that waste my time my time, question mark. And then I've got tally marks here scratched into the paper. This is a pinhole camera image. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, exclamation point. There's just some straw blown on top of some sort of cloudy paint. And the title of it is, You Were Such a Disappointment, Why Did I Waste My Time? Because that's what it said. And there's another Giacometti image and then some repetitive figures transferred in and a star. I had to put it in a show at one point well, I didn't have to, but I did put it in a show at one point and they made me put a price on it, but this is sort of a priceless book to me. Cause man, it still causes me pain to, to look at it. Makes me a little emotional. I don't even know why. I just feel like a lot of darkness is trapped in this book, but it's good because that's the power of art is you can actually I'm getting emotional talking about it. You can hear it in my voice, but you can actually like get it out of you. If you're feeling bad, you can express it and then it's, it's in something else and not in you. And that's what I did here. Art is catharsis. Art is therapeutic. Art is powerful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe, click the bell icon in order to get more notifications, and don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharp.com. Bye. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Did you know I have an Instagram? I do. I update it daily. Lots of new posts on what I'm working on, new ideas, and my most current projects, you can keep track of what I'm up to on there. So go and follow me. Check it out.